All right, so I've been playing around with AI uh, quite a bit lately, and I had an idea. What if I add ChatGPT to my robotic arm? Could it just program itself? You know, imagine how cool it would be if you can just ask the robot to do something and it just knows what to do. So I spent the last few months turning this idea into a reality. Here's how that went. Let's first start off with the hardware. So I built this robotic arm quite a while ago. It's a SCARA style robotic arm and it's mostly 3D printed and it works great. If you want to learn more about how I build it, go check out my channel. I've got a bunch of videos on it. It's a great little robotic arm. There is however one thing that I do like to upgrade. As you can see, the Z axis is not as stable as I like it to be. It moves uh, side to side quite a bit, which isn't great for accuracy. Luckily, the sponsor of today's video, JLCMC reached out and they offered me some of their products. If you don't know, JLCMC is a mechatronic components marketplace that integrates various mechatronic parts, aiming to provide one-stop service, global delivery, industry standard high quality and favorable prices to customers around the world. It's the optimal solution for engineers, manufacturers and hobbyists by offering an extensive catalog of mechanical components. New users get $19 off on their first order if they use the link in the description. Go check them out, they're really cool. So I decided to order this steel linear actuator from their website. Uh, I ordered it and two weeks later it arrived and this thing was heavy. So this new Z-axis is a ball screw driven linear actuator and it has two linear bearings in it and it runs very smoothly. So let's go ahead and disassemble the old Z-axis and install this one. So to access the mounting holes in the back of this thing, I had to remove this front cover and then I could use the 5mm holes in the back to attach the new Z-axis to the base plate. So this is the only component I had to redesign. It's the piece that connects the arm to the Z-axis. And because this new Z-axis, this new linear actuator uses a different set of holes, it uses five millimeter threaded holes. Um, I had to redesign this component, but it wasn't a lot of work and it, the installation was quite simple. All right, so everything is mounted and everything works. So let's move on to the software. Um, this is where this project became a lot more difficult than I expected. Uh, but first, let me try and explain how the software is supposed to work. All right, so imagine this is the workspace. We've got my uh, laptop and the robotic arm and then uh, ChatGPT. So I've got a Python script on my laptop that first establishes a connection with the robotic arm to basically get a live camera feed. It then makes a connection to ChatGPT or the OpenAI API, which is basically the thing that runs ChatGPT. It then waits for a user input. So for example, uh, pick up the orange cube. As soon as I hit enter, it's gonna create this prompt or this message for ChatGPT that contains a bunch of information on 
how to operate the robotic arm. Um, it also includes a picture of whatever it is that the robot is currently seeing. And obviously it's gonna include the user command or the user uh, input, which is in this example, a uh, pick of the orange cube. It's gonna then send that entire message to ChatGPT, wait for a response. As soon as it gets a response from ChatGPT, it's gonna unpack that response, turn that into movement commands for the robotic arm. It's gonna wait till the robot has executed those commands. And then it's gonna take another picture of the workspace. And then it uploads that to JetGPT along with the entire prompt again, waits for a response, turns that response into movement, sends those to the robot and so on and so on. And it just basically keeps doing this loop until ChatGPT says that it thinks it has accomplished the task. All right, so that's how the code is supposed to work. When I tried to integrating this code, it was a lot more difficult than I expected. So I spent well over a month trying to fix this thing. Um, but every time I would fix one problem, I would just run into two new ones and it was a really, really annoying problem. But eventually, I did get it to work. Hey Sarah, give me the blue cube. Okay. Yes, yes, finally it worked. That took so long. All right, so I'm really happy I finally got this thing to run. Um, obviously, there's still a lot of room for improvement, especially with the software. But I think the idea is very interesting to have uh, AI basically program robotics for us. Um, so I'll definitely be spending more time on this project. If you guys like to help out, I'll have a link to my Discord server in the description. Uh, feel free to join. And yeah, that's basically all I've got for you guys uh, today. So yeah, make sure to like, subscribe and see you next time.